going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about another Beastly Gamer prediction that looks like it's going to come true. Did you guys get your hands on the classic NES Mini? The new NES console that was re-released It's a mini version of the classic Nintendo Entertainment System that has 30 games built in. It's really awesome. A lot of people have been trying to get their hands on one, myself included, but it's sold out everywhere and I'm probably going to have to wait until there's a surplus of them left in a store someplace and get lucky. But one thing that I predicted when I saw the surge of people coming out to buy the Nintendo NES Classic Mini was that Nintendo had two or three more consoles they can do the same thing with and make tons of money. I predicted there would be a Super Nintendo Mini and I predicted there would be a GameCube Mini. Now some might say GameCube Mini, that might be hard to do. Not with today's technology technology and compression technology it might cost a hundred bucks but they could definitely do a gamecube mini that's all digital apparently nintendo is going through the same loops and the same hoops that they went through before they announced the classic nes mini with the super nintendo mini i'll drop a link in the description Classic mini NES console rumored after Nintendo files a familiar looking trademark. Soon we could be enjoying Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, and Zelda all over again. The classic NES mini console from Nintendo was the Christmas story of 2016. The boxy gadget was a faithful recreation of the 80s game console and sold out completely in a couple of days after going on sale. But it seems Nintendo could already have a successor in the pipeline. According to Go Nintendo, the Japanese gaming giant has registered a new trademark for a controller shaped like the one used on the Super Nintendo console in the 80s and the 90s. It was spotted on Twitter by a it was spotted on Twitter by a bot that logs trademark filings. And, and as you guys can see here, that's the actual tweet. The Super Nintendo, known as the Super Famicom in Japan, was Nintendo's 16-bit follow-up to the NES and the platform that gave us Street Fighter 2, Donkey Kong Country, and Super Mario World. The trademark filings give nothing away, and it could simply be a means of Nintendo protecting the design. One commentator wrote, quote, Numerous companies have been using the exact Super Nintendo controller design for their knockoffs. This trademark could be an attempt to curb that. I'm not sure, though, end quote. Many gamers are excited about the potential of a mini Super Nintendo console, and Nintendo is coming off a bumper year. The company has launched its first smartphone game and revealed the details of its next fully-fledged console, and the possibility of a new SNES console was met with enthusiasm on social media. Sadly, with the Nintendo Switch taking up the company's focus in the first half of the year, it's unlikely we'll see the SNES Mini until Christmas of 2017. The question remains, though. How many games could Nintendo pack onto it, and what games should they be? Okay, let me just say this. They can put as many games on it that they want. They can put 50 games, they can put 100 games on it. These games are so small when it comes to computation size that we wouldn't, we can't even fathom how small these games are. These games are so tiny that if you had like a, a one gig stick inside the Super Nintendo Mini, you could probably have no less than 500 games. Yeah. It's, so it's that it's that serious. These things are so small, and I'm being very, very generous with that space. I'm saying 500 on the low end if you have a one gig uh, Super Nintendo Mini. It's just how space works and how those old games are compressed. It's just so little space used to create them. So they can put any games they want. Uh, now, if it was me and the Super Nintendo Mini was coming out, of course you want Super Metroid on there. You want Super Tech Mobile. You want Super Punch Out. Of course, Super Mario World, Mario All Stars. I'd have to have Super Castlevania on it. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, maybe even Donkey Kong Country 3. And I want to see some old school classics like, uh, for me, anyway. It would be Super Turricane. You'd have to have A Link to the Past in there, The Legend of Zelda. Chrono Trigger would need to be on it. Put Contra 3 on it. And just some really awesome, I mean, those games alone would keep me busy for a long, long time. But, you know, like I said, there's so many options. They don't have to have a 30 game limit. They're being very, very conservative there. Even with the classic NES Mini, they could have easily put 50 to 100 games on it. The space is not an issue with their games. They don't want us to know. For the people who aren't technically inclined, they don't want you to know exactly how many games they can stick on this tiny, tiny machine. But trust me when I say it's a lot more than 30. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. The classic SNES, do you think it's going to happen? I 100% believe it'll happen in 2017. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And then that'll be followed by the classic 
Nintendo 64 Mini beyond the shadow of a doubt. It's definitely going to happen. We start to get into maybe the cloudy spaces when we talk about the Nintendo GameCube and whether or not they can make that a Mini, but trust me when I say they can definitely make that a Mini too. They definitely could. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave your predictions. Are we going to see this thing or not? Do you think they're just putting patents out on their controller to keep people from pirating that design? Or do you think this is a prelude to what we're going to see later on in the year? The classic SNES Mini. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Maybe think about subscribing. And you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,